Welcome, part two. Let's get started. The value of a car is $27,000 and depreciating at a rate of 13% per year. Use exponential decay. Okay, um, first of all, let's go do our work on the other side. They give us the formula. So we're at $27,000. That's our initial value, A. 1 minus 13% is actually 0.13, and it's going over five years. So basically, we just want to kind of put this in our calculator. 1 minus 1.3, we'll start with that. And we get 0.87. Then we're going to raise that to the fifth power. And we're going to get this number. And then we're going to times it by the price of our car. So our car is going to be worth $13,457.36. The value of a home is 899000 increasing in value at a rate of 1% per year using exponential growth and the approximate value in 12 years. So our initial value is 899000 <coughs> 1 plus 1% 1 is actually 0 0.01 raised to the 12th power. So we're going to get 1 plus 0 0.01, well we start there, which gives us 1.01. And then we're going to raise it to the 12th power, and we get this number, and then we're going to multiply that by our home value, and our new home value is going to be $1,013,015.70. Classify the following monomial, binomial, and trinomial. Identify the degree. I have one, two, three terms, so it's a trinomial. And the highest degree is, this one has 4, 1, and 2, so this is going to be a 4th uh, degree trinomial. This one's a monomial, it's only one term. And it has 2, 1, Y, and 4, Z, so it's 2 plus 1 plus 4, so that's going to be to the 7th uh, <coughs> degree monomial. Write the polynomial standard form, identifying the leading coefficient. So standard form, you want to put this guy in front, so that's negative 3x squared, and then we go negative 2x, and then plus 10, and the leading coefficient is going to be negative 3. Next, uh, we have x to the fourth as our largest, and then we're going to go negative 5x squared, plus 7x, plus 15, and we have 1 as our leading coefficient. Simplify by combining like terms. I'll first identify like terms, including their signs in front. So 2 plus negative 20, that's going to be a negative 18 m to the fourth. And then these are also like terms, and they're both negative, so we're going to get negative 23 m. We're going to add these, and we get uh, these to combine, so that's going to become 7x to the 5th. Notice that x to the 5th and x to the 5th don't make x to the 10th. And then these guys will combine. We'll get plus 7x, and then we leave with negative 3. First thing here, we have to distribute the negative. So we're going to get 5m to the 5th minus m to the 3rd minus m to the 5th minus 7m to the third plus 4, so all the signs changed. And then we want to identify our like terms. Okay, so we get this guy is going to be combined with that guy, and that guy is going to be combined with that guy. <coughs> so that's going to become 4m to the fifth. That's going to be negative uh, 8m to the third and positive 4. When we multiply, our exponents are going to act a little bit differently. Um, so here we're going to multiply the whole numbers. So 1 11 times 33, that's basically dividing 33 by 11. We're going to end up with just 3. Uh, next, we're going to look at the x's. x to the 4th times x to the 2nd is going to become x to the 6th. The exponents add. And then r to the 3rd, r to the 2nd is going to become r to the 5th and z to the 4th, z to the 3rd is z to the 7th. 
that is a very bad looking z. Number 36, we're just multiplying, so we're going to distribute. This is going to become 4 times 3, which is 12. x times x is x squared. And then 4 times 4x times 2 is 8x. <clears throat> Here we're going to distribute. We get 8 times 3, which is going to give me 24. And x times x squared is x to the third y. And then this is going to just be negative 8xy. Okay. Here I like to use the box method. We have x minus 1 and x minus 5. Two, x times x is x squared. x times 1 is negative 1x. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5. When we combine our like terms, we get x squared. These guys add to make negative 6x and then plus 5. All right, number 39. Again, this is going to be box method. Binomial times a binomial. doesn't matter which one goes on the top, which one goes on the bottom. But we're going to get 5 times 2 is 10, and then x squared. And then this is going to become 8x, and that's negative 15x, and that's going to be negative 12. Once we get 10x squared, negative 15 plus 8 um, is going to give us a negative... 7x and then negative 12. This next one, um, we do just a bigger box. That's why we call it box and not square because it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a 2 by 2. So 5x and negative 3 and then x to the third, negative 5x and 2. This becomes 5x to the fourth, negative 25x uh, squared and this is going to become 10x. Down here we're going to get negative 3x to the third, 15x, and negative 6. And we only have 1x to the fourth term. These work, are going to combine to give me a negative 28x squared. And then these will combine to give me a 25x and then negative 6. x minus 9 squared, we still have to do the box method. We can't really escape this. We just write the same thing twice. We get x squared. This is going to become negative 9x. This is negative 9x. And negative 9 times negative 9 is a positive 81. So we get x squared. That's going to become negative 18x and a positive 81. <clears throat> Believe it or not, we are doing a box method. Wow. You sound like a broken record, Mr. Smith. That's because you are. So 6 times 6 is 36, so that's going to be 36w squared, this is going to be 36wz, uh, this is going to be 36wz, and this is going to be 36z squared. Then we got to uh, combine like terms, we get 36w squared. These actually have the same terms, w, wz, wz, so we can add those two together to get um, 72wz and then 36z squared. This one here, uh, again, box method. If you haven't got tired of that yet. r squared, 7r, negative 7r, and negative 49. So we're going to get r squared, but the middle term is going to cancel out. 7 minus 7 is 0, and we get negative 49. And find the area of rectangle length equals x minus 8 and the width equals x minus 4. This is in box method. It's like we want you to be good at this or something. So we get x squared, negative 4x, negative 8x, and uh, that's going to become positive 32. So we get x squared minus 12x because negative 4 and negative 8 add together plus 32. Okay, again, box method here, multiplying. We get x squared, 2x, and negative 6x, and that's going to be negative 12. So we get x squared, 
these combined, so it's 2x and negative 6, is going to be negative 4x and negative 12. Factor. Okay, so first thing is you always look for a GCF. I see here that y could be taken out. But it also looks like a 3 could probably be taken out. So that becomes 4y squared. This becomes uh, 11y. And then this can become negative 2. Okay, now we got to double check to see if we can factor that further by splitting the middle term. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 and adds to 11. So we got to think of factors that would multiply to negative 8 but add to 11. So my factors are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. That's it. Nothing makes it to 11, so this is actually fully factored. Here we're going to x bar our x method. We're multiply to 10, add to negative 7. Um, and I'm thinking that, let's see here, we got 1 times 10, 2 times 5, so negative 2 times negative 5 would work, so we get x minus 2 and x minus 5. So we don't have a number in the front, we can go straight into our little binomials. 27 and uh, positive 12. So uh, we have 3 times 9, and that's the first one I thought of, and that that one works, so we're done. All right, and 48 and negative 14. Um, so I'm thinking, let's see, 2 times 24, uh, 4 times 12. Mm, let's see. What else would go into this? 